ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਕਮਲਜੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਬੁਲੇਟਿਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਹੈੱਡਲਾਈਨਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੁਬਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰ COP28 ਜਲਵਾਯੂ ਸੰਮੇਲਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੋਏ ਉਪ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਕਮਲਾ ਹੈਰਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਕਲਾਈਮੇਟ ਫੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ 3 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦੇ ਨਿਵੇਸ਼ ਦਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਫਲਸਤੀਨੀ ਸਮਰਥਕ ਨੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਚ ਇਜ਼ਰਾਈਲੀ ਅੰਬੈਸੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਖੁਦ ਨੂੰ ਪੈਟਰੋਲ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਲਗਾਈ ਅੱਗ ਪ੍ਰਦਰਸ਼ਨਕਾਰੀ ਦੀ ਹਾਲਤ ਗੰਭੀਰ ਵਿਨੀਪੈਕ ਚ ਸ਼ਰਧਾ ਤੇ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦਾ 554ਵਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਖੰਡਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਪਾਏ ਗਏ ਭੋਗ ਹੁਣ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਵਿਸਤਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਉਪ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਕਮਲਾ ਹੈਰਿਸ ਨੇ ਦੁਬਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰ COP28 ਜਲਵਾਯੂ ਸੰਮੇਲਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਰਾਜ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਕਲਾਈਮੇਟ ਫੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ 3 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਨਿਵੇਸ਼ ਕਰੇਗਾ। ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਯੂਐਸ ਵਿਕਾਸਸ਼ੀਲ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਹਾਊਸ ਗੈਸਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਿਕਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਘਟਾਉਣ ਅਤੇ ਜਲਵਾਯੂ ਪਰਿਵਰਤਨ ਦੇ ਅਨੁਕੂਲ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਨਿਵੇਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ। As a result, today across the United States we are building and expanding hundreds of solar panel wind turbine electric vehicle and battery manufacturing plants we are laying thousands of miles of high voltage transmission lines to deliver clean energy to every corner of our nation and we are lowering emissions not only in energy and transportation but in industry agriculture buildings and construction. We are also investing in resilience and adaptation to restore our coastlines, wetlands and forests and to make communities more resilient to climate driven extreme weather. We have also placed equity at the center of all of our work, investing in marginalized communities which are often hardest hit by extreme weather and bear a disproportionate burden from fossil fuel pollution. Globally, the United States is a leader in the effort to expand international climate finance. This year alone, we have increased our contributions to over 9 and a half billion dollars, which puts us on track to reach President Biden's ambitious 11 billion dollar goal. by 2024. Today I am also proud to announce a new 3 billion dollar pledge to the Green Climate Fund which helps developing countries invest in resilience, clean energy and nature-based solutions. Today we are demonstrating through action how the world can and must meet this crisis. This is a pivotal moment. our action collectively or worse our inaction will impact billions of people for decades to come for as much as we have accomplished there is still so much more work to do and continued progress will not be possible without a fight ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਹਿੰਦ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਂਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੀਨ ਦੇ ਤੇਜ਼ੀ ਨਾਲ ਵੱਧ ਰਹੇ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵ ਦਾ ਮੁਕਾਬਲਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਆਪਕ ਯਤਨ ਦੇ ਹਿੱਸੇ ਵਜੋਂ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਅਤੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਉੱਚ ਤਕਨੀਕੀ ਫੌਜੀ ਸਹਿਯੋਗ ਦਾ ਵਿਸਥਾਰ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਲੋਇਡ ਆਸਟਿਨ ਨੇ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਅਤੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਦੇ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਮੰਤਰੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਸਮਝੌਤੇ ਤੇ ਹਸਤਾਖਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਆਸਟਿਨ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਅਤੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਹੇਗਾ I'm very proud of the sailors from our three countries who are seamlessly training together across our trilateral partnership. This year, six officers from the Royal Australian Navy graduated from US Nuclear Power School. And more are on track to graduate in early 2024. Now, these proud officers and sailors will be the first to operate Australia's conventionally armed nuclear-powered submarines. As part of the optimal pathway, we're also working to increase the frequency of US SSN port visits to Australia. This directly supports President Biden's commitment 
to ensure that Australia acquires this new submarine capability at the earliest possible date while meeting the highest standard of nuclear nonproliferation. The ministers and I also reviewed our, ma our major accomplishments within the crucial second pillar of AUKUS. And through Pillar 2, we have leveraged our respective defense innovation and industry sectors to develop and deliver advanced capabilities so that our warfighters can hear, see, and act with decisive advantage. We're innovating with cutting-edge tech in several areas, including artificial uh, intelligence, electronic warfare, and quantum technology. And by implementing strong standards of technology protection, we are reducing barriers to sharing information and technology. And we're streamlining our processes to deliver these capabilities and lead our partnership forward for the next generation. Today, we endorse several new efforts under Pillar 2 of AUKUS. Now, these challenges will begin in early 2024 with a prize challenge focusing on electronic warfare. Again and again, AUKUS proves that we are stronger together. And every day we move closer to our shared vision of a free and open Indo-Pacific. अमरीका के अटलांटा विच इजरायली एंबेसी के बाहर एक फलस्तीनी समर्थक प्रदर्शनकारी ने अपने आप को पेट्रोल पाके आग लगा ली अधिकारियों के मुताबिक आग लाने वाले व्यक्ति की हालत नाजुक बनी हुई है इस तो अलावा उस व्यक्ति को बचाने की कोशिश विच एक सुरक्षा गार्ड भी जख्मी हो गया अटलांटा के पुलिस मुखी डैरन शेयरबोम ने एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के कहा कि घटना वाली थान पर एक फलस्तीनी झंडा मिले है इस दिन ही अधिकारियों ने कहा है कि अंबेसी के किसी कर्मचारी को कोई खतरा नहीं है हालांकि अधिकारियों ने प्रदर्शनकारी की पहचान जनतक नहीं की अटलांटा के फायर चीफ रोडरिक समिथ ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के दसिया कि प्रदर्शनकारी दोपहर में शहर के मिड टाउन खेतर इमारत के बाहर खड़ा सी अचानक उसने अपने आप को अग लगा ली As the chief stated, we are here in support of Atlanta Fire Rescue uh, because of this location uh, being home to the Israeli consulate. Uh, there was a robust law enforcement response, not only from the Atlanta Police Department's Homeland Security Unit, but also from our federal authorities. Uh, we can tell you at this time, we do not believe there's any nexus uh, to terrorism at this location. Uh, we do believe at this time, based on the evidence that we have, the information that is readily available for us, this was likely an extreme act of political protest that occurred here today. And as the fire chief stated, the individuals that are injured is a, uh, the individual that was uh, carrying out a protest and a security guard that tried to stop uh, the act to save the individual's life uh, was injured uh, when the fire started. Uh, but the uh, community is safe. Um, this department is w aware of the tensions that are present right now in the Jewish community and in the Muslim community. Uh, we actually have dedicated patrols that are occurring at this location and at other Jewish and Muslim communities in the city. One of those officers were hit, was here and responded quickly uh, once the incident occurred. We continue to ensure that everyone is protected in Atlanta, Georgia, regardless of your religion, regardless of your heritage, regardless of your nationality. And we will continue to remain vigilant uh, to ensure that everyone remains safe and that we work with our partners and our authorities uh, to give that assurance to the residents of Atlanta. I can tell you that a Palestinian flag was recovered at the location and was part of the protest. Was at any point uh, this person tried to enter the Israeli consulate? Was that the final intention here? Yeah, this is an investigative in the earliest stages. It appears to have been focused outside the building. Uh, I'm not aware of an attempt to enter the building. I can assure you that the diplomatic staff is safe. I have met with the consul general uh, and the staff is safe. Uh, all the residents of this building are safe and we do not believe at any time they were in danger. And how far into the building did the person make it? They were outside the building at the entire time, sir. इजराइल हमास के विचाले जंगबंदी के सत्तवें दिन येरूशलम के एक बस स्टॉप से फलस्तीनी बंदूकधारियों के वलों की गई फायरिंग च घट्टो घट तीन इजरायली मारे गए और छे होर जख्मी हो गए इस दौरान अमरीकी विदेश मंत्री एंटनी ब्लिंकन का बयान सामने आया है ब्लिंकन ने कहा है कि जंगबंदी खत्म करने की जिम्मेवारी हमास की है उसने दावा किया है कि हमास अपने शब्दों तो पिछे हट गया है ब्लिंगन ने दुबई के पत्रकारों के नाल गलबात करद कहा है कि जंगबंदी खत्म होने तो पहल ही हमास ने येरूशलम के एक बेरहम हमला किया है जिस तीन लोग मारे गए हैं जो कि गलत है ब्लिंकन ने कहा है कि अमरीका कैदियों आजाद कराने पर पूरी तरह ध्यान केंद्रित कर रहा है 
that I made, I came to show strong solidarity with Israel, um, defending itself, trying to make sure that October 7th never happens again, and also uh, to stress the importance of uh, humanitarian assistance, getting to people in need in Gaza. Uh, after that visit, the humanitarian assistance began to flow. Uh, during my second visit, uh, I focused on how pauses, humanitarian pauses, could facilitate the release of hostages, uh, enable more assistance to get into Gaza, and also help get uh, innocent civilians out of harm's way. After that visit, uh, we saw Israel Institute pauses uh, that got uh, enabled people to get out of harm's way. Uh, we were able to broker a deal with uh, Qatar, with uh, Egypt playing critical roles for a seven-day pause. And as a result, some 100 hostages uh, were able to get out, be reunited with their families. Uh, and uh, in addition, as I said, we've seen uh, the humanitarian assistance during that period more than double. Uh, getting to people who need it so desperately uh, in Gaza. Uh, during this visit, um, I was focused on, uh, on a few things. Um, trying to see what we can do to keep getting hostages out uh, of uh, Gaza and out of the hands of Hamas. Um, looking at uh, how we can both sustain and increase the humanitarian assistance that's getting to uh, people in, in, uh, in Gaza. Uh, and also uh, talking about the, uh, the way forward in Israel's efforts to make sure that Hamas never again has the ability to do what it did on October 7th. Um, I made clear that after the pause, it was imperative that Israel put in place clear protections for civilians uh, and for sustaining humanitarian assistance uh, going forward. And uh, as we've seen, just today, Israel's already moved out on, uh, on parts of that, including... Los Angeles ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਵਾਪਰੀਆਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਗੋਲੀਬਾਰੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਸ਼ੱਕੀ ਦੀ ਭਾਲ ਤੇਜ਼ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਦੱਸ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਤਿੰਨੋਂ ਗੋਲੀਬਾਰੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕੋ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਅੰਜਾਮ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਮੁਖੀ ਮਿਸ਼ੇਲ ਮੂਰ ਨੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਕੈਰਨ ਬੌਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਪੱਤਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦਿਆਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤਿੰਨੋਂ ਗੋਲੀਬਾਰੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਨਵੰਬਰ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਾਪਰੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਲਾਸ ਏਂਜਲਸ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦੋਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਲਦ ਹੀ ਫੜ ਲਿਆ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸ਼ੱਕੀ ਨੂੰ ਫੜਨ ਲਈ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਟੀਮ ਗਠਿਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ Living on the streets we already know is dangerous and we already know that 4 to 5 people die each day on our streets from a range of causes and violence is certainly one of them but I want to be very clear about what we're facing today this is a killer who is preying on the unhoused and as always like we do in the face of an emergency here we are again calling angelinos to come together the city and the region is mobilizing to find this individual responsible to arrest them and to hold them fully accountable to the full extent of the law now our message to the unhoused community is clear do not sleep alone tonight seek shelter seek services stay together seek support and we need your help to get the word out immediately in the last hour i've directed our office of homelessness and housing solutions to activate citywide we have spoken to the leaders of the los angeles homeless service authority housing authority of los angeles the los angeles housing department and we are moving immediately to get the word out to our unhoused neighbors our housing networks and to ensure that our centers stay open during this time i have spoken with the leadership of metro for our trains and buses where we know unhoused people are there we want to ensure that metro homeless staff get the word out on the buses and on the trains as you leave the buses as you leave the trains at night do not go alone we will give out locations where people can go we have been in touch with service providers throughout the city many of whom work incredibly closely over the last year to bring thousands of angelinos inside to reach their clients and we will be convening a meeting right after this to discuss next steps we will work with our partners on the city council and the board of supervisors and we're adding staff to 211 and vouchers to add assistance at this time we are working to open emergency shelters that are open during um 
ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਵਿਨੀਪੈਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦਾ 554 ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਸ਼ਰਧਾ ਤੇ ਧੂਮ ਧਾਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਖੰਡਪੁਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਭੋਗ ਪਾਏ ਗਏ ਉਪਰੰਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਮੁਖ ਸੇਵਾਦਾਰ ਭਾਈ ਸੁਖਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜਿਆ ਤੇ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਨਿਹਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੀਵਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੀਪਮਾਲਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਵੀ ਵਰਤਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਖੁਦਕੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਰੋਕਣ ਲਈ ਖੁਦਕੁਸ਼ੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਹੈਲਪਲਾਈਨ 988 ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਹੈਲਥ ਏਜੰਸੀ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਬਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਹੈਲਪਲਾਈਨ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਅਤੇ ਫ੍ਰੈਂਚ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਸ਼ ਭਰ ਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਦੇ 24 ਘੰਟੇ ਅਤੇ ਹਫ਼ਤੇ ਦੇ 7 ਦਿਨਾਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨ ਜਾਂ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਪਲਬਧ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਦੱਸ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਖੁਦਕੁਸ਼ੀ ਹਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਸਮਾਜ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਹਰੇਕ ਵਰਗ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡੀ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਬਣੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਹਰ ਸਾਲ ਔਸਤਨ 4500 ਲੋਕ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਖੁਦਕੁਸ਼ੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਸੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਇਹ ਹੈਲਪਲਾਈਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਜਾਰੀ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਗਿਆ Today Toronto is covered by the Toronto Purchase Treaty number 13 of 1805 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Toronto is now home to a vast diversity of First Nations, Inuit and Métis who enrich this city. CAMH is committed to reconciliation. We will honor the land through programs and places that reflect and respect its heritage. We will embrace the healing traditions of the ancestors and weave them into our caring practices. We will create new relationships and partnerships with First Nations, Inuit and Métis and share and protect the land for future generations. I'm very pleased to welcome back the Honorable Yara Sachs, Minister of Mental Health and Addictions and Associate Minister of Health. Minister Sachs visited CAMH shortly after she was appointed to this portfolio and it's a pleasure to have you back here today on such a momentous occasion. I also want to acknowledge that may the many CAMH staff, partners, supporters, mental health advocates and experts who are with us in the room and virtually managing a very complex command center today. Today marks a monumental milestone for our country. Starting this morning, people across Canada now have access to a new and important source of hope, 988. suicide crisis helpline This new service launched alongside the federal government and a national network of partners is powered through CAMH Teams across our organization have worked tirelessly with tremendous efforts and um and vision and collaborative energy to bring this concept to reality many have been here all night long and are looking so fresh in the front row <laughs> today's launch which i will let the minister and others speak to in a couple of minutes is the result of collaboration across geographies indus- uh, industries and cultures NATO ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਈ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਮੰਤਰੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ 'ਚ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਮਿਲਾਨੀ ਜੋਲੀ ਨੇ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਵਚਨਬੱਧਤਾ ਦੁਹਰਾਈ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜੋਲੀ ਨੇ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਨੂੰ 40 ਬਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਦੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਜੋਲੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਰੂਸ ਦੇ ਖਤਰਨਾਕ ਹਮਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਮਣਾ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਰਥਨ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖਾਂਗੇ Now on Ukraine it's been nearly 2 years that Putin launched its illegal invasion of Ukraine Uh, Ukraine have been uh, fighting for their freedom and for ours uh, at NATO I reaffirm Canada's commitment to support Ukraine for as long as it takes uh, we also talked about the importance of engaging with Ukraine on the issue of long-term security commitments for Ukraine to be able to address the issue of not only fighting on the battlefields right now but show deterrence in time because even when there is eventually uh a uh negotiation uh diplomatic negotiation ukraine must be strong at the diplomatic table and must be able uh to uh have enough deterrence power uh to prevent russia from uh leaving rearming and reinvading and so that's why we've been not only engaging with ukraine bilaterally uh to uh get to a security long term security commitment uh, agreement but also other allies and including the G7 uh and of course we've been working also with Ukraine 
to uh, be able to uh, repatriate Ukrainian children that have been abducted by Russia uh, and have uh, left Ukraine. So this is something that I've been able to uh, work on with my colleague Kuleba. And finally, of course, I spoke about the Canada-Ukraine free trade agreement with my colleague. It is important that uh, we sign this deal and that we get the support from all parties in the House. Ukraine has been fighting on the battlefield uh, now for nearly two years, and it needs money to fund its battle, its existen existential battle, and it needs also money to be able to uh, reconstruct afterwards. And so that's why it is important to uh, sign this free trade agreement. Winnipeg Police Service Inspector Jennifer McKinnon ne koshna ki thi hai ki etwar nu Lang Side Street de 100 block te vich hoyi gori bari de sambandh vich ik shakki nu giraftar kita gaya hai police ne dasya hai ki Jamie Randy Felix nu giraftar kita gaya ate us te second degree qatl de charge mamle ate qatl karan di koshish de ik mamle da dosh lagaya gaya hai das diye ki Winnipeg de vich bite hafte goli bari di ghatna vapri si is goli bari de vich teen lokan di maut ho gayi ate do gambhir roop de vich and late last night, a warrant of arrest was issued for Jamie Randy Felix, 32 years of Winnipeg, Manitoba. The warrant is for for the charges of second degree murder times four, attempt and attempt to commit murder. At 6.30 this morning, with the assistance of General Patrol and our tactical support team, the suspect was safely taken into custody in the 100 block of Fernwood Avenue. He was on a court release. Uh, I don't have the details to uh, what that release order was and the circumstances surrounding it at this time. The investigative team was called out early Sunday morning. Uh, since that time, over the last number of days, we've worked endless hours uh, conducting canvases, uh, reviewing video, conducting interviews, and uh, uh, attempting to uh, uh, solve this as quick as we can. I think we've all felt not at ease, including the police service, right? So our message to them is that uh, we do have a suspect in custody uh, for that homicide and for that shooting. So I feel like that in itself should provide the community some sort of uh, relief. But uh, like I said, uh, and Sergeant McDonald said, uh, we still have a lot of work to do on this. Bulletin de khir bich ek war fir to nazar maar deya. Headlines te. Dubai which is a Yukhtarashtra COP at Hai Jalwayu Samelan de which is Shamal Hoi Uprastapati Kamla Harris Green Climate Fund which is 10 billion dollar de Nivesh da Kita Elan Palestini Samarthak Ne America which is Riley Ambassy de Samne Kudnu Petrol Pakela Gai Ag Pardarshan Kari di Halat Gambir Winnipeg ਚ ਸ਼ਰਧਾ ਤੇ ਸਤਿਕਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਮਨਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦਾ 554ਵਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਖੰਡ ਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਪਾਏ ਗਏ ਭੋਗ ਸੋ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਿਲਹਾਲ ਇਨਾ ਹੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦਿਓ